write the conditional statement in if-then form. And the statement is dogs have four legs, which we know is true. So another way of thinking about it, you say, well, if you have a dog or if an animal is a dog, then it's going to have four legs. That's an equivalent statement to this here. So let's see if we can construct a sentence like that. So if, if an animal is a dog, is a dog, if an animal is a dog, then it has four legs. So that was pretty straightforward. Let's do a few more of these. So here, same thing. We want to write this in if-then form. I will win a gold medal when I go to the Olympics. So let's see. This is essentially saying, if I go to the Olympics, then I will win a gold medal. So if, if I go to the Olympics, then I win a gold medal. Now you might be tempted to say, hey, well, you know, I saw a gold medal first here and then I saw Olympics later in the sentence. But this isn't saying that if you win a gold medal, then you have then you have gone to the Olympics or then you will go to the Olympics. You might win a gold medal at like the local track meet or something, and that's not gonna ensure that you're going to the Olympics. This is saying that if you go to the Olympics, because there's uh, this person's very confident who was ever saying this, I will win a gold medal when I go to the Olympics. So that's the same statement as saying, when I go to the Olympics, if or if I go to the Olympics, I am going to win a gold medal. So if I go to the Olympics, then I win a gold medal. And actually, this statement is a little bit more confident than this one, because here they say, if I go to the Olympics, while here they say, when I go to the Olympics. But I think you get the idea. Let's do a couple more of these. I will go to Disneyland when I win a gold medal. So now, the winning the gold medal is what's driving stuff to happen. So if I win a gold medal, then I will go to Disneyland. So if, if, I win a gold medal, then I go to Disneyland. Oh, that wasn't right. Oh, I, I didn't put this. I go to Disneyland. I got too careless. I got to make sure I do it. If I win a gold medal, then I go to Disneyland. And now we got it right. Let's do one more. I can't do enough of these. These are incredibly fun. Isosceles triangles have two equal sides. So if I, have, if I have an isosceles triangle, then I have two equal sides. So if I have, if a shape is an isosceles triangle, then it has two, two equal sides. We got it right.